I cannot tell you how many people tell me that sanity is their biggest killer. And you know what? I don't blame them. Because in typical Don't Star fashion, the game does very little to prepare you for the constant mental battle that you will be having. So today we'll see me do my best to give you all the knowledge needed to understand sanity. Or better yet, insanity. Let's get to it. And to fight insanity, you should know what makes you insane. So, we will list some early, mid, and late game sources of negative sanity throughout this video. But one of the first will be the minus 5 sanity per minute of Dusk. And although that doesn't seem like much, it truly is the game simply setting us up for danger right off the bat. Because if we ignore it for several days in a row, it will add up. And eventually will come to bite us in the butt as all the other sources of negative sanity will be bombarding us soon enough. Rain is another source of woe that again, may not strike you as anything to worry about, but can quickly catch up with you. Although it is unlikely to happen in the very early stages of the game, eventually getting soaked, aka having wetness at 50 or above, leads to a maximum drain of 3.3 sanity per minute. But hold up, only 3.3 sanity per minute beard? That's really what we should be worried about? All right, calm down people who told me that sanity kills them and thus prompted this guy to begin with. Try this one on for size. Rain and wetness leads to soaked items in your inventory and can do so quite quickly without notice from you. And the sanity drain that comes with this, you ask? Minus six sanity per minute per item equipped. So you yeah, hear that, people? Rain will get you eventually. So do and wear anything you can to at least slow its roll now and then. An umbrella, raincoat, straw hat, anything. But here's a solid one. The insanity auras of mobs themselves. Simple spooters even have a chance to drain our minds by minus 25 per minute, depending on proximity to them, of course, but that is with just one of the little buggers. So get 7 million of them chasing you for any length of time, and it is no wonder why you are so cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs so fast. Be mindful out there. Because the same could be said for mobs like hounds, ghosts, and cave spiders. Only they will drain us for minus 40 sanity per minute potentially, on top of the sanity hits you'll be taking to even encounter some of these things. The point is, being near hostile mobs is bad for your health, in more ways than one. Also note, the sanity auras themselves, being the range we're talking about, will vary from mob to mob. But this all especially extends to big bads like tree guards or even claws, because both have an insanity aura of minus 100 per minute, depending, of course, on proximity to them. But if you're fighting them, you're gonna be right up on them. So extend this to even bigger bads like Deerclops, Berger, Dragonfly, oh my, and we'll be battling our nightmares in seconds as our sanity drains by a potential minus 400 points per minute. Really, Deerclops is your biggest concern here, but you'd be surprised at how your sanity is going to be once you get out of some of these other big bad fights. And there's really not much you can do about these auras apart from just being ready to eat your way back sane, having a Tamil Shanter at the ready, or having some much better late game items. But some runner-ups in this temporary sanity drain category are the Dark Sword, as it will drain our heads by minus 20 points per minute when wielded. Caves themselves will constantly drain our sanity by minus 5 points per minute on top of everything else, so be very mindful there. Nightmare Lights will rapidly drain us by over 40 points per minute even outside of a full Nightmare Cycle phase. And lastly, Total Darkness will knock minus 50 sanity per minute, so don't be in it for more than just the sanity loss, mind you. But wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, temporary sanity drain beard? There's more to this crap than what we've just discussed already? Oh my sweet summer child, you have no idea. 
Take, for example, eating raw meats like you see here. Doing so will instantly drop your sanity by 10 points each munch. The same goes for eating spoiled foods of most any sort, munching on cooked monster meat, enjoying some raw frog legs, and you name it. The point is, it's probably not a good idea to snarf down raw or bad food items, so uh, just don't. However, some foods are less taxing, like durians, monster jerky, or even potatoes, as they're really only drained five sanity per meal, so take note there. Others, though, are not so forgiving. Raw monster meat and blue caps will knock you for minus 15 sanity each per munch. Monster lasagna will up that drain to minus 20 a pop, but why the heck are you eating monster lasagna to begin with, you weirdo? And raw green caps and or glomer goop will hit you with a whopping minus 50 sanity a meal. Be careful. A simple misclick could leave you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and that's kind of the point here. But some other day-to-day -day sources of note? Picking evil flowers will drain our sanity by 5 points per flower. But keep in mind, they also just have a negative insanity ore to begin with. So these add up very, very fast. Digging up graves and thus disturbing the dead cost minus 10 sanity each, which is reasonable considering what you're actually doing. Using the anus exp I mean wormholes to travel vast distances in an instant will cost you 15 sanity each trip, which is quite hefty actually. Certain ancient staffs cost 20 sanity to cast each time, so be very mindful there. That can catch up with you, especially in the late game. And reading Wikibata's books will either cost you 33 sanity per turn of the page, or 50 sanity for a select couple novels here and there. But as you can see, sanity comes into play every which way to Sunday. And this isn't even everything. This is, however. What you see before you is the total breakdown of every negative sanity aura across the game. Or better yet, games. As you can see, there is a lot. And it would be very hard to swallow a video that truly broke down everything at once in its entirety. So we just simply covered the meaty, day-to-day -day hitters as I've been saying. Not only that though, we did quickly list items and actions that instantly drained our minds. And you can also see those before you now. So just feel free to pause the video because this guy turned into the biggest info dump ever, so study up. But before we go, I wish to break down the levels of our sanity itself and what each means for us and the gameplay overall because that actually is very intriguing. When our character's sanity is at or below 80% of its maximum, we will begin to barely see Mr. Skits, a nightmare creature who is non-hostile to us but is there to constantly remind us of our impending death. At or below 75%, we will begin to see the Night Hands arrive to snuff out our fires, and we'll also see the start of our screen deterioration. 60% and below has things really start to get distorted as the world begins to lose color and eyes will start appearing in the cover of night. 50% and below sees Shadow Watchers occasionally spring in the frame. Crawling horrors first become visible, the insanity noises begin, and our characters will kind of begin to lose it a bit. At 45% and below, the whispering begins, while at 40% and below, our rabbits and bunnymen undergo their terrifying transformations. 50% and below has the red veins appear on screen, crawling horrors will now begin to attack, and your screen gets real crazy now and then. And and finally, at 10% and below, terror beaks become fully visible and now attack without prompt, while up to two nightmare creatures of both types can spawn at any given time. So there we go, folks. Not only the full sanity spectrum, but the point at which all of you begin to die. In full sincerity, this video was actually going to be a whole shindig regarding both negative and positive sanity gain, their sources, and how to handle it all when I first started. But as time went on, I kind of enjoyed the singular focus of the negative side of things. So 
Here you go. But of course, expect another guide soon enough covering the opposite. But I do hope that this video does serve you well beforehand, because it is good to know what to avoid in order to work towards being mentally well in the long run. Plus, that sanity spectrum is probably something not a lot of people actually know about. But thanks for watching, everyone. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.